Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can delay a function call in Power Query. So in the previous video, we learned how we could create a function in Power Query, and then we used that function to get data from multiple websites. So someone commented on that video after and asked if you could delay the calls. So what happens if you're calling an API with the web query and that API has certain limits, so you can only call it a certain amount of times in a minute. So is it possible to sequentially use your query function to call a URL? And the answer is yes. So here's our final result where we got data from multiple web pages. And I'm just gonna go back to the invoke custom function step here, which is where we used our custom function. And you can see that we're adding a new column. And then for each row, we're going to call our custom function here, which was f get results. And then we're gonna pass it the URL. Now it turns out that there is a Power Query function that allows you to add a delay to your function calls. So let's edit this step. And that function is function.invokeAfter. And so we're going to call this function. And then we're going to add a delay. So we need to use our duration function. And in this example, we'll add a delay of one second. Let's accept that change. And now what Power Query is going to do is it's going to call this web URL, wait a second, call this web URL, etc. And this way, if you're calling an API and it has limits, you'll be able to avoid those limits. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.